Now, I did not really follow the tournament here. Uh, <laughs> this last one, I don't really follow any of the tournaments. Sorry, guys. Uh, but I did see that you're on Pure Block and that you're an event coordinator. Yeah. So how did the tournament go for you as event coordinator and as a member of Pure Blocks? Well, uh, first of all, I don't play in tournaments. Um, I, I've never actually played in tournaments. Um, how I got on Pure Blocks, um, I was just casually browsing the forums, forums and I had an alert. And I got invited to Pure Blocks and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Why shouldn't I? Because I'm not going to play for them anyway, so if they want me on their team, I'm fine with it. And, yeah, that's how we got on Pure Blocks. Um, how the tournament went from event coordinator perspective, um, we had some issues in the start. We wanted, well, actually, there have been a lot of issues, and I hope we didn't make anyone too mad in the way we resolved them. Like, people were really stumbling over the seating and how we let people into the tournament, which we provided a middle way possible for us because for us time was so short and yeah. we were like yeah we can either do it and really fail at it or not give it a shot and leave people in this phase of whole, some, a brewing storm basically mm -hmm. so we took the shot it turned out decent not with the result we hoped it had like a lot of teams didn't win in that phase but they got to play anyway, and our goal was to have as many people play as possible and have them have their moment, have them have fun in the tournament. So from that perspective, we did a good job at that, I think, I hope. For the people, don't be mad at me. <laughs> now, I have seen a couple people who are mad, but for the most part, it seems like the, the feedback I, I see in the forums and stuff was overall positive, with the exception of a couple people who are butthurt over something. I don't know. Yeah, I really hope so, and it just, I, people, I think, unfortunately, we got into slur that we're usually late with stuff, mm -hmm. so when the servers broke, we were like, shit, this is going to delay us a lot, because in our biggest round, more than 75% of our servers didn't work. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we had to run all the matches on an incredible low amount of servers, um, so people were like, yeah, we were waiting, but we sort of expected it already, so we're just glad we can play. Mm -hmm. Which, actually, that makes it so much nicer for us. Like, we, kn you're not the only one that's waiting, because we're going to have to deal with all the shit, yeah. and you're, ju you're just waiting. <laughs> While we're waiting and, and stressing working. at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But... I had a lot of fun with the referees and the other event coordinators and listening to other teams, helping other teams, helping other people. And even though there were part, part on part was of course hard for some people and it's never fun to lose, but I yet still hope that even though if you lose in a sad way or you think it's not fair, you still had fun in like scrimming or whatever with your team at least. Yeah. For me, tournaments, in the past when I played it, I'm not on Overcast. The experience itself was fun, but the type of tournaments I played in, they took so long. They, the matches were hours. And I'm older than most people I'm I, in the Minecraft community and Overcast like that. And so are, a lot of my friends are older. We have jobs. and <laughs> A lot of them are in college or past college and about to get jobs. And mm -hmm. So... For me, the waiting around, the length some of these tournaments took, that was one big factor of me just not even looking into them in Overcast because I was like, wow, I, I can't really afford to spend that much time for playing one game <laughs> on a Saturday or something like that. So Yeah, I get it. It's, it's a struggle. Like When you're planning events, you're always... One terrible, stupid thing we have on Earth is that we don't all live in the same place, so there are time zones, yeah. and... When people wake up, other people go to sleep, yeah. and it's always so hard. Like, we try to please as many people as possible, but sometimes it just can't, and that's sad, because it's frustrating for us as well, because yeah. we think, like, why can't you just stay up 30 more minutes or something? And it's just something you have to deal with and understand, and that's just a letdown. I, I love to see a system where it isn't, 
we just buy everyone a plane ticket and we all sleep at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, no. <laughs> I did see uh, one person suggest something in a different community. I can't even remember what community it was now. But they suggested having an EU bracket and a, a, like an American bracket. And then just have one game where the t- where you have two teams in different time zones. And that theoretically can work if you have like somewhat even amount of teams in both brackets. But I think the community they were in, it was like 75% of the teams were American. So the one bracket would have yeah. been super tiny. So it didn't it, quite yeah. work. I mean, it's also not that fair because then you would have to form teams that just from your time zone. Yeah. Like, if you look at Overcast teams, there are quite a few teams that are mixed, like American, British, Europeans, even Australians or Oceanic people or China, Singapore. I don't know where they live. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you have to force them to other teams. So, in theory... It it would be nice, but yeah. If you have teams that are all same country, of course, then it would be cool. Yeah, it, I just don't really think there's one easy way to do it. But you do the best you can. Try to piss off as few as you can. <laughs> yep. All right. So with Overcast closing here soon, uh, I got some other questions I didn't initially ask in my Map Maker interviews because I didn't know Overcast was closing at the time. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. Um, so what is your favorite thing about OCN or my favorite thing about OCN, uh, um, I, I think it because it's something I have not yet experienced in this way before. Is that the incredible amount of people that care? Mm-hmm. May with some people it just comes out shittier than others, but in the end they care, and I think that's so amazing that you can create something. And have people invest their time and people care about what happens, what happens next, why it happened, how it happened, and hold on to what's left of it and give a lot of their ideas and frustration or, I don't know, time to make something better, even though sometimes there is no result. But I think it's beautiful that, and maybe not characteristic for OCN, but people caring is something I think is great about OCN. Yeah, it's a very similar answer to other people I've asked a question to. It's just basically the community in in general, I think, is just stronger. I mean, it's smaller at the moment, which is the problem. (laughs) But it's stronger in that it's they do care about it more. They're more respectful, uh, despite a few people in chat. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> in general staff and non-staff it's not just limited to staff uh, it's just a whole community i think is like that so uh, i can agree with most of the people on that that's the answer to that question what is the singular most memorable moment for you on ocn though the singular most memorable moment for yep. me on ocn yep um i'm not going to be cringy and say the moment i got promoted to ref because i don't think that's true okay um what one moment I can still remember while it was really nothing um was when we were in the old lobby which still had like project Aries and I think it was the one before the Christmas tree no after because it was empty in the middle and some mods came and they basically whirled out of the whole lobby and there was like a castle of melons and people were shooting around raindrops and we're just like i think maybe 30 people on the lobby pretty regular just jetting and like oh, I'm joking around and with the mods and everyone and i think it's really great that it happened and i'm Still really glad I was there in that moment. I don't think anyone else remembers, but <laughs> I really liked it. All right. Is there, like, an epic kill that you've had that you found pretty memorable or a tournament moment? Well... Because you don't play in tournaments, but you still, you as an event coordinator, <laughs> you have, I'm sure you can still have a tournament moment. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's, it's basically a mistake. Um, I was like, I think people in chat... Where like, I was on a server and they were complaining about Teamspeak okay. or something in Spanish, and then someone in admin chat asked, "What are they complaining about?" So I wrote at um I wrote Teamspeak ja 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 ja, 
intending that it never would have been seen by anyone but staff. And then it turned out it was slash G, so I was like, oops. <laughs> and Brad yelled at me, but in the end it was all fine. <laughs> yeah, I've had that happen in Skype before uh, when I was staffed somewhere. I, I started typing in the staff chat. Uh, basically, so I meant to be talking to an admin because I was, I was going back and forth between multiple chats. Mm -hmm. And I was saying something negative about a moderator who was doing something I didn't like or I didn't think was pulling their weight. And I ended up saying it in a public staff chat. And so I just had to play it off like, I don't care. I meant to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm former staff manager. I can say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I definitely didn't uh, admit it was a screw-up aside from to the one admin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So uh, what's the best advice you can give to a future map maker out there who wants to get into it? Hmm. I think find something, have an idea. I think that's important. And it doesn't matter how big the idea is or how small, but have an idea. Have The most easiest thing you can do is have a block palette. Make a block palette of, say, six, six blocks, six or eight, and think, like, I want to build something with this. That's how government started. I didn't know what I wanted to build, but I know with what blocks I wanted. Okay. And basically, the whole map, basically, I made it because of the blocks and not because I had an idea. So just have an idea. Maybe you have a layout in mind. Maybe the, the game mode always helps. Um, if you say, I want to CDW, go off that. But don't try to stick to it too much. Be open-minded about what comes up in your mind, what other people say. That's really important. But I think it all starts with a simple idea. And I think you can come a long way, even if you have a small idea. Because it will evolve if you put time in it. I like the block palette uh, recommendation there, simply because if you don't have an idea, just throwing a block palette out in front of you, messing around with it, you can get inspired by that at some point. You see, it's like, oh, I could do this with that. And, you know, mm -hmm. and that could start your map right there. So yep. I like that. That's something that nobody else said. So good advice. Thanks. Now, <laughs> I hope it help people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys use that advice for the week you have left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, most controversial question. I really hope you don't screw this one up. Blue or red? Blue team, best team. Thank you. <laughs> we can still be friends. <laughs> no doubt. There's just no discussion. Blue team, best team. Yeah, I say it in every interview. Blue team's better looking. They're smarter. They're just better at PvP. Nobody in their right mind would say red team eye lifting. <laughs> he was the only one who said it so far. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> is there anything you want to talk about that I didn't bring up? So this is your chance just to talk about anything OCN related, map making related, event coordinator related. Um, now. Well, I think it's time for a thank you then. If it's the last week, you <laughs> you you got into that nostalgic group there. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone. And I don't think this is said as often as it should be, but thank you, players, because you're the ones that it's all about. And think think in a way that it's not against you but that we try to be the best for everyone and that's really specific on events but I think it's a good mindset for just general moving into someone else and try to see it from their perspective because time or manpower or anything for that matter just trying always helps and I still want to thank you for being there even though if you may have been a pain in the ass <coughs> loading <up>. um, <laughs> but in the end even if you were a pain in the ass you had fun I hope a bit somewhere around a corner that you try to hide because you're mad but think about the fun alright well that's, that is a really good time to bring up the thank yous and stuff like that because you know you know, not being here in a week, a lot of people, I think, are going to be waiting till that last day to do it. And it's going to be a little too late then because they're taking the website down at the same time. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I kind of wish the website would stay around for another week after it happened just so people would get a chance to say that. But I guarantee you there's going to be people who wait too long to actually say it and get yeah. it seen by people. So mm. I think we're done with the actual Don't wait, people. guys. Don't wait with your friends. <laughs> get out there. <laughs> so I just want to thank you again for being here, Stormer. Uh, I really appreciate you doing the interview because I like learning about the maps that I spend so much damn time on. I looked at my... <laughs> stats the other day and i think it says i've spent like 40 freaking days on overcast oh <laughs> and, wow and i wouldn't <laughs> do that without people like you making incredible maps that are fun to play on oh so, thank you it's good it was really play. nice talking about it yeah i'm glad you enjoyed it i try to make these interviews you know as laid back as possible uh, i know some people are very nervous about doing them but yeah I, i'll do this any format anybody wants to if you want to do an interview with me and i like your, one of your maps i'm very flexible so people out there even if Overcast is closed when you're watching this, message me. We'll we'll throw your map up on a private server. It's one that's on my list to, or whatever, and we'll still do it. So, Thanks for being here again, and I'll see everybody next week with another Map Maker interview. Well, once again, here we are. I've reached the point of the video where I must stand here and tell you that next Monday there will be a brand new video on my channel. Now, the only way to make sure you remember to watch that video would be to subscribe to my channel. So you can do that right now, or, you know, I also usually tell you, hey, if you didn't get enough spin time for today, you can click on this annotation. Well, I'll put an annotation here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take you to one of my more recent videos. But I'm going to throw a couple clips at the end of this video from when I recorded playing on Stormer's levels with my friend 8-Bit Hero, and also with Stormer himself on one of his levels. So just because I thought there were a couple funny clips I want to throw in. But, yeah, be here next Monday. I'm writing you in. I will definitely know if you don't show up. No way out of it. Subscribe, or at least check in every day to see if I do anything. <laughs> yeah, spin out, guys. I'm inside of you. Get wrecked. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stormer, you gotta set some more spawn points. I, I, I am complaining about that. I didn't even know we had started. <laughs> what, just a oh, blender? see what this guy is? Oh, he's making like a row of boats and then just left like through it all. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go start shooting those boats when he's trying to click on them. <laughs> <laughs> he'll just go to the next one. <laughs> or he'll fall into the void just like that. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I got nice. him when he got to the end. I shot the boat. And now I'm taking them all out, so he has to start over. <laughs> <laughs> You're cruel. I was scared that the no block would annoy people. I I think it's fine. I just I didn't expect I mean, it at I love first. The Once fact you know about you, it. I love the fact that you can block them on them. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Oh, he's PvPing people with carrots. <laughs> he's got two big boxing gloves on. You got him in each hand. Save my body, please. Thank you. I just want to craft, man. Don't come after me. Oh, he he's came after me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think he's low. Hit him. Oh. Hit him with your spade. Spank him. <laughs> <laughs> Spank him to death. Here, here. Playing music. It's taunting us. Okay, you follow him. I'll run the other way around. Oh, oh somebody's behind me. No, there's two of them. Didn't know I was being chased. <laughs> Ooh, I got the kill. Nice. Bye bye. Okay, I think front lines may be too wide. Okay, they're on our core. They're on our core. I see where they went up. I'm going up the stairs they used. They probably get a touch. Well, one of them's dead, and the other one... Ah, <gasps> oh, he lived, he got me.
Come here, Oscar. Are you gonna jump into the void? Oh, I've achieved my goal. I'm on the other team's side. They probably don't really have defenders, so... Well, me and another guy are staring to the core right now, so we'll see. Oh, he's almost there. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Our core is a mess. Oh, we're on the core. Leak it! Leak it! Leak it! We're, we're trying. <laughs> Okay, I believe I can leak the core. Okay, you keep leaking, buddies. I'm gonna like just cover us. Okay, anybody starts climbing up, I'm bowling them. Oh, I think we got this game. You really? Yeah. Nope. I don't even think they see us yet. Come on, guys. What the fuck is taking? <gasps> Why are you digging on the top, you idiot? Dig on the sides. <laughs> oh. <gasps> they somehow. Got around our... Oh. Don't, don't you blow this. <laughs> they got around the void filter. They have a giant sky bridge. As, as long as you can keep them away from... For a couple minutes. Oh, they damaged... Okay, record damage. Okay, we got this. Come on. You guys are this. I should not be the one bowing. You guys should because you suck at mining obsidian. Okay. Yeah, okay. You just keep oh bowing. Oh my god, that guy. He's really good with the bow. These guys suck ass. We, we, there's no excuse for us not having Do people this know it? Know what? Yeah, we just got found out a minute ago, and they killed two of our guys. I'm the only one left. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm now about to die. Watch out. I will hit you with my kid. God damn it. Oh, my God. When you watch this video later, you're going to be so pissed at those idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, we had three people on the core, two, and two of them that were trying to mine the core... They're digging from the top down, so we're going to have to break like three or four blocks to even get lava to leak out. Oh my fucking god. Ugh, yeah. Where the fuck do you think you're going, mate? Yeah, exactly. Nowhere. That, there's no way that match should still be going on. It's going to be enough footage, though. Oh! God damn, this hurts even more now. Please, wait. <gasps> five, 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 four, four, five, five. <laughs> One, two, three, five. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs>